Hello fellow aviators and air travelers. In today's episode of Healthy Aviation, I would like to share uh, my method of keeping track of what I'm eating and how much. It is especially important uh, when you are on the road or in the air, there's lots of unknown, unexpected foods, but your body is taking all the calories in anyways. You might have also heard the saying that you lose fat in the kitchen, you get muscle in the gym. This is so true. Personally, I have to watch what I'm eating, otherwise I would not like what I'm seeing on the scale one day. And it also allows me to have a well-balanced uh, diet, no matter where I am. What we eat is not only about calories intake. Our body needs what's called macros, which are proteins, fats, and carbs. And we need a certain percentage of it. If you're trying to figure it out by hand, it can be a really daunting and impossible task, especially with all the variety of foods we are having. Fortunately, we live in the world where everybody is carrying some sort of smartphone, and we have tons of apps that can do the job for us. So I'm using the app called My Fitness Pal. There are other apps out there. I'm not promoting any specific one. This one has a free version. There are paid more uh, sophisticated versions, but this one does the job. So we will start with the initial setup and you will need to enter your age, uh, date of birth, uh, initial weight, your height, and your goals if you want to lose weight gain weight uh, maintain if you want to increase your activity and so on the app will automatically give you some suggestions on uh, what you should be eating and how many calories and what would be the split between the different macros and for starters just accept the initial suggestion you can always tweak it later if uh, you see it doesn't quite work for you most of the time it's a fairly close approximation Next comes the discipline part. Uh, whenever you're eating, uh, just before or after or during the meal, uh, pull up the app and enter what is that that you are eating. So the app has a good search function where it has most common foods with already pre-entered uh, calories and macros. And what I find is really amazing, uh, lots of times we're eating some packaged food, like this protein cookie, for example, and they have barcode on them. And the app can just scan that barcode and give you the calories that are in the meal that you're about to eat. And doesn't matter where you are in the world, uh, the search function is pretty extensive and most of foods would already be in the database. So it saves you a lot of time. Besides, most of the time we're eating some foods that are repetitive. So if we're having a double double coffee from Tim Hortons every morning, you already have it uh, here in the, your quick search and you can just add it to your uh, breakfast um, in a second or two. What is also really nice about the app, it will tell you automatically how many calories are left uh, in your calories budget for the day. So for example, if you had a big lunch, you will probably have to take it lighter on your dinner and vice versa. If you didn't eat the whole day, you do have a little bit more of an allowance for your later meal. Um, it also tells you how many carbs, fats and proteins you still need to uh, take in to keep this uh, diet balanced throughout the day. The second part of the discipline is uh, actually sticking to your calories budget and following what you need to eat. I found in the beginning I was overeating and it's so easy to grab a quick apple or banana or a cookie and not even count them. Once you start counting, actually they do add up and having the discipline of uh, either not grabbing those snacks or making sure they all enter in that count and stick into that count uh, was a little bit challenging for me in the beginning, uh, but you do actually adapt to it. So you, in the beginning you eat less and it's like you're thinking, I'm, oh my God, I'm hungry. But uh, within a couple of weeks, your stomach gets used to eating less at least that worked for me. And I'm not even wanting those extra foods and I'm feeling better and more energetic because my body spends less energy on processing additional foods 
and carrying extra weight and to the contrary I felt more energetic even though I was eating less so uh, you need to go through that transition period possibly but the rewards at the end are definitely worth it so I hope this information was helpful and eating balanced uh, and nutritious food while you're traveling is so important for you to feel energetic and uh, ready to explore or do the work that you are supposed to do as you are traveling and stay focused on your trips and hopefully it will make your travel adventures more exciting and full of energy. Feel free to uh, comment on the video uh, if you have any questions or any ideas of uh, what topics uh, would you like to see covered in the next episodes of Healthy Aviation. Uh, please comment below. I will do my best to respond to each of those. And until then, safe travels.